we have two expressions here that contain rational exponents and we're going to evaluate these without using a calculator. So for our first one, we have negative 343 to the power of negative 2 over 3. First, we're going to take care of this negative exponent. Whenever you have a negative exponent, that means that we are going to take the reciprocal of the number. The reciprocal here, um, it's not a fraction, but remember we can imagine this is 343 over 1. So the reciprocal is going to be 1 over negative 343 to the power of 2 over 3. So now we've gotten rid of the negative exponent by taking the reciprocal. The next thing we're going to do is break down that 2 over 3 in the exponent using the power of a power rule. So this can be broken into uh, negative 343 to the power of 1 third and then to the power of 2 because we know that 1 third times 2 is equal to 2 thirds. This 1 third is the same thing as taking the cubed root of negative 343 and then squaring the number. So we have the cubed root here of a negative number, but we know because that root is an odd number, we can take the root of a negative number. If that was an even root, then we wouldn't be able to take the even root of a negative number. So you have to be careful here. For odd numbers, we can do this. So to evaluate this in the brackets here, we have to ask ourselves what number times itself three times will give you negative 343. So imagine visually what number times itself three times will equal negative 343. And the answer here is negative 7. So the number negative 7 times itself three times will give you negative 343. So when we evaluate this, we're going to get 1 over negative 7, and we still have to square it. So in the end, this expression will be uh, negative 7 squared is positive 49. So we have 1 over 49 for this original expression. Let's look at this one now as another example. Now we have negative 256 to the power of 0 0.75. So the first thing you want to take note of here is that the negative is not in brackets associated with this exponent. So that negative is going to stay outside of the exponent and we're going to carry it through until the end. This exponent is written as a decimal. Let's rewrite that as a fraction so that we can approach it in the same way that we did the last problem. 0.75 can be written as 3 over 4. So now we're going to break down this exponent using the power of a power rule like we did before. So this is going to be 256 to the power of 1 fourth to the power of 3. So let's change this to a radical and we get the fourth root of 256. Now th that root is an even number, but we have a positive number under the radical, so we're okay to proceed. So this is asking us now, what number multiplied by itself four times will give you 256? So visually, this looks like a number times a number times a number times a number equals 256. So when you think about that, we'll see that the answer is 4. So here, we're going to have 4 and then to the power of 3. 4 to the power of 3 is 64. And we still have that negative attached to the number that carried through all the way till the end answer.